Welcome back to Time Out with Trish, where we dive deep into your burning relationship questions and dilemmas. It's time for another lightning round session of our quick fire Q&A segment. I'm your host, Trish, and today we've got a sizzling hot lineup of questions straight from you, our incredible listeners. You've been sending them in and we've got the answers. In this segment, we're tackling your relationship conundrums with rapid fire responses that are both insightful and we can tell you how to set in action. We know you've got limited time and we're here to get you the answers you need pronto. So whether it's matters of the heart, dating dilemmas, or navigating the tricky waters of love, stick around because we're about to unleash a whirlwind of wisdom. If you're ready to kickstart this quick fire Q&A session, grab your headphones, settle in, and get ready for a roller coaster ride through the world of relationships. Let's dive into the first question and keep the sparks flying. It's time to turn up the heat and get those answers you've been waiting for. Timing the ties that bind, navigating the meeting the children conversation. All right, y'all. So here's our question today and uh, we'll see what I have to say about it. All right. I am 43 years old and my boyfriend, who I've been in an exclusive, happy relationship for 11 months, is 39. We made a mutual decision early in our relationship to wait 12 months before introducing each other to our respective children. Recently, we returned from a week-long business trip to Lake Tahoe. He kindly purchased a ticket for me to join him. In October, he will be flying with me to celebrate my mom's birthday. It's a significant event for me and he is aware of its importance. I would like to propose moving up the timetable for introducing our children to each other ages 12 and 8. My suggestion is to perhaps do this every other week where we would drop something off at each other's house exchange a brief hello and then leave just two to four minutes of interaction however i have fears that my boyfriend may express that he is not ready for this step which would be devastating for me this brings up the question of why i should bring him with me to california or continue this relationship if meeting his children for a brief interaction is not a risk he wants to take He knows that I am expecting to meet his children in November and he will meet mine, but the details haven't been discussed. Is it acceptable to move up the timetable by four weeks and ask to start meeting each other, each other's children in October instead of November? Okay, so first of all, I would like to say that I admire that the both of y'all have decided to wait a year before introducing your children to one another. That is huge because nowadays I don't feel like people are as careful about that and move a bit too fast when it comes to meeting the children. Y'all know children get attached really easily, whether they're young or middle aged, doesn't matter. They get attached really fast. And if something does go wrong in y'all's relationship, it affects them just as much as it affects you. So waiting a year means that y'all took time, you're careful in your dating before you made it official. So big ups to you for that. Now, I will say that it's completely understandable that you want to introduce your children to each other sooner, given the connection you and your boyfriend share. So I believe that open and honest communication in this situation is key. However, it's just a month's difference from October to November. Also, keep in mind that he is a little younger, what, four years younger than you. Although that's not a huge gap, there is still a difference there so there may be a realm of thinking where he wanted to wait until that time if that's something that y'all already agreed upon and it wasn't a problem then you know just kind of let that be I don't think a month out is too much Uh, But before proposing any changes to the timeline, just have a candid conversation with your boyfriend about your feelings, your expectations and your concerns and express why you believe it might be beneficial to start meeting each other's children earlier and listen to his perspective and understand his reservations, if any at all. Remember, the timing of introducing children to a new partner can vary depending on the individuals involved. So take that in mind and also note that flexibility and compromise are essential. So ultimately, you both want what's best for your relationship 
and the overall well-being of your children so finding a mutual agreement in the timeline is very crucial ensure that you discuss not only when but also how these introductions take place keeping in mind that the comfort and feelings of all the parties involved so if you both approach this conversation with empathy and a shared commitment to your relationship i'm pretty sure you're going to find a solution that works and it'll be best for everyone so that is my advice to you i hope that that helps you and you guys will be able to continue moving forward in what sounds like a promising future and a great foundation of a relationship That's a wrap for today's quick fire Q&A session, my wonderful listeners. I hope you found our rapid fire advice insightful and actionable. Remember, your questions drive this segment, so keep them coming. You can submit your relationship queries to us on all platforms at Trish TV One or simply drag your questions right here in the question box on Spotify. We're here to provide the guidance and insights you need to navigate the world of relationships. So whether it's matters of the heart or dating dilemmas, we've got you covered. Thank you for tuning in. And as always, your support means the world to us. Stay tuned for more quick fire Q&A sessions and I'll catch you in the next one.